It's not easy being me. We'll wash your face and brush your hair. We'll nag, nag, nag. It's just not fair. I'm horrid Henry. So tell me school, I'm gonna rule. And when I'm king, I'll do my thing. And then my life will be so sweet. I'm horrid Henry. Class zero tonight, Henry. Peter's got to practice, haven't you, my little songbird? Tra la 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 la. No gross class zero tonight. That's what I said, Henry. In fact, there's no television for a week until Peter's big concert is over. He's doing so well, aren't you, Poppity? No television for a whole week? Martina, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Oh, well done, darling. That was just wonderful. Oh, that boy has talent. He so does have talent, and I should know. <laughs> Isn't he a bit old to be singing that sort of thing? A strapping teenager like him ought to be out on the rugby pitch. He's not a teenager, Great Aunt Greta. He's a little boy. Oh, it is so exciting. So very exciting. <laughs> oh, it is. And if Peter gets chosen, he'll be going to the Alfred Hall. Oh, Henry, wouldn't you like to be singing at the Alfred Hall, Henry? No, singing's for worms. Smelly, nappy baby worms. That's it, Henry. Go to your room. I am sick and tired of you putting your brother down. Oh, come on, Henry. Peter needs positive energy now, not negative vibes. So think positive. Positive worm. Henry, upstairs now. You already told me to go, remember? Well, then, no television for a week. You already told me that, too. And no pocket money for the rest of your life. What? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the semi-finalists in the interscholastic junior vocal musical Singathon. <laughs> Perfect. And for those of us who can't be as perfect as Peter, remember to watch and learn. See, Henry, all you have to do is watch and learn. <laughs> so, how does it feel, Henry? What do you mean? To have a little brother who's a superstar. Ha! You mean the worm? The worm that's turned. <laughs> My advice to you, Henry, is to watch and learn. <laughs> Hello, this is the residence of Perfect Peter's Superstar. Good evening. May I speak with Perfect Peter's manager? I'm calling from Make Me a Megastar. We're in your area next week and we think Peter... <laughs> really? Well, Mr. Make Me a Megastar, let me tell you what Perfect Peter's really like. That fee is acceptable. What did you say? What fee? The fee we pay if he gets into the final. Five hundred pounds. F five? We can go higher. Higher? Seven hundred and fifty pounds, if you insist. Seven hundred and fifty pounds? All right, then. One thousand pounds, but that's our final offer. Uh, all right. Henry? Deal. It's a deal. We'll be in touch. Gotta go now. One of my uh, artists needs me. Who 
was that on the phone? Just a wrong number. Are you coming to join the party, Henry? Oh, no, thanks. Early night for me. Are you feeling all right, Henry? Oh, yes, thanks, Mum. I know the value of sleep. Now, I'm really worried about you, Henry. Watch and learn, Mum. Watch and learn. More milk, Peter? Uh, yes, thank you, Henry. Well, I must say it's a pleasure to see you down so early for breakfast, Henry. I'll get it, Mum! What do you want, bogey brain? I've come to claim what's mine. What do you mean? Peter, I've come to make him a megastar. Now, where is he? <gasps> Know about that? Uh, I heard it on the grapevine. Now, bash! Uh, well, Wub's not here at the moment. He's gone for a walk. Well, when he gets back, tell him that I need to see him and quickly. There's no time to lose if we're going to get him through to the final. We'll do. Bye for now. Come on, Peter. We've got work to do. Have you? Yes. Peter's going to help me. The uh, count my pocket money. Am I? Move it, worm. Hmm? But what if I don't want to be a megastar? Oh, you do! Believe me, you do! Who's going to make me? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> What's that? Stay there. I'll deal with this. This is my moment. I have not lived next door to those revolting boys for my whole life for nothing, you know. <sighs> Finally, Margaret. Finally. <laughs> Margaret. Henry. You lied to me. He's in there, isn't he? Yes, he is. Then let me at him. He's my wormy little brother, not yours. So I'm going to make him a megastar, not you. Ha! That's what you think. <laughs> I'll go to Henry! As I was saying, Peter... It's you or her? Not much choice, is there? Then I choose you. Wise choice, Peter. Wise choice. Now, about your image, Peter. Welcome to the auditions for Make Me A Mega Star. When you're ready, Peter. Where are Shaka? Where are Shaka? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, for it, my little son, Get up now! Get up now! Thank you! You're the final! Come on, Worm. We've got to get home. Mum thinks we've been for a walk in the park. But I didn't even get to say thank you. Tough! You can say thank you when you win the final. to me eventually. Come inside and we'll talk tactics. And fight you daring Dave. A very interesting use of a banana there. If you've just joined us, you're watching the final finale of Meet Me a Megastar. And next up, we've got a rather unlikely but extremely talented contestant, Peter Perfect Nick. A mega star! Just my brother! Don't you dare! He's my act now! What have you done? I've done what you could never do! I've made him a star! And even though she said you were with Henry and Margaret, well, come on, let's get you all home. 
So, what have you two got to say for yourselves? Oh, you'll never guess what! No, we won't, so please tell us now, Polly. Well, that man from Make Me a Megastar just phoned. <laughs> and you won, Peter! You won a thousand pounds! <laughs> <laughs> and he had a message for you, too. Really? He said he wants to invite you onto his latest show. <laughs> Make me into Peter Perfect. 